Greetings. Today, another System 2x6 was added on the Techno Parrot list of free and playable titles. Today, we'll install and test MotoGP Arcade. Before we continue, you need the necessary files needed for this short tutorial. And please don't ask me where to get the game files. Just be creative on your search on the internet. It's quite easy to find. Okay, if you're ready, let's get started. Let's boot Techno Parrot. At the main list, scroll down from MotoGP. You can press letter M on the keyboard to immediately jump to the first title that start with the letter M. There should be two MotoGP on the list, one with a subscription and one without or free. If you did not see the free one, you may want to update first. To do that, click on the three dash line on the upper left most corner. Click check for updates or install updates if it is available. After you're done updating, click again the three dash line and click Add Game. Scroll down for MotoGP, the free version, and enter. Now the game is available for configurations. Click on Game Settings. Then redirect the game executable by clicking just above the gray line. A pop-up window will show up immediately. Check the bottom right corner for the exact file name that you'll be looking for. In this case, it's MotoGP.zip. Then go to your game directory, then choose the file needed. You won't get wrong on this part. Techno Parrot won't allow you to choose the wrong file unless you force it. As an additional reminder, the MotoGP.zip should have its respective CHD file or files on the same directory. Main file standards usually come in pairs. The MotoGP zip file and folder with same name that contain the CHD file or files. It will not work without the CHD file. I'm positive you won't get confused on this. Okay, next, configure general input API, whether X input or direct input, depending on what you're using. In this demonstration, we will use an Xbox 360 controller, so we choose X input. On general windowed, it's up to you, but we recommend full screen, so we leave this untick. Now in the general graphics backend, depending on your machine, you can experiment on this. Try both to find which is better. In this demo, we will set this up on OpenGL at 1080p resolution. Then it's up to you to change wheel sensitivity to your liking. Feel free to experiment. Then hit save if you're fine with the settings. You can go back and adjust later. Then let's configure the control button assignment. I'm using an Xbox controller. So depending on what you use, you can freely manage the button's assignments to your perspective. Don't forget to save before exiting. Let's try to boot the game. Okay. An error pops up. It's said here that it fails to read arcade definition file within your play emulator directory. It means it can't find the specified definition file or it's missing. In this case, it's the MotoGP 2000 arcade def file that should be found in the arcade DFS directory. We need to make one or copy an existing one. Let's go to the directory itself. As you can see, there is no MotoGP 2000 arcade def in this directory, but there's a MotoGP arcade def file, which I believe the same definition file. So what to do? Just simply make a copy of the MotoGP arcade def on the same directory, then rename it to MotoGP 2000 arcade def. That's it. Now you're ready to play. One more thing, on my machine MotoGP does not run very well. But like we said earlier, that it still depends on your machine. Rumors on forums. Some System 2x6 titles need a much beefy machine. In some cases, Intel users reports that it runs better than NVIDIA or require an i9 or 13th gen processor. Anyway, we wish you good luck on System 2x6 emulation on play. We hope patches will come up soon. If you made it here this part of the video, thank you for watching. And if this video is helpful, might as well like and subscribe. Very appreciated. But before you go, we'll leave you a short gameplay. I really do love this type of games, but I need more practice. I think you could do way better. Thank you. Have a great day.